Hello, today we are going to talk about plants in natural science of second grade. So, what are we going to learn in this unit? First, we're going to talk about the parts of the plant and their functions. We are also going to learn about the parts of the flower and the main characteristics. We are going to study the types of plants, the types of trees, and finally, the uses of the plants. So here we are. Look at the parts of a plant. Can you see at the picture? Okay, so you have the flower, the stem, the leaves, and the roots. The stem supports the plant and transports the nutrients to the plant. The plants breathe through their leaves and make the food in them. The roots hold the plant and absorb the water and minerals from the ground. And now let's have a look at the parts of the flower. In the flower, it takes part the reproduction function. So we're going to have a look at the picture. You can see the different parts of the flower, the petal, the sepal, the pistil, and the stamen. Okay, so in the stamen and pistil help the plant to reproduce. The pistil grows and becomes the fruit. The petals are the colorful part of the of the flower and they form the corolla. And the sepals protect the flower and they form the calyx. Now we're going to talk about the types of plants. There are three main types of plants. First we have the grass, which is very tall, thin, and flexible. It's got a flexible stem. The bush is small, is short, and it's got lots of thin, hard, and short stems. And finally, we have the trees. The trees, as you can see, are very tall, and they have a tall, thick stem called the trunk. So can you see the difference between them three? Okay, so also in this unit, we're going to talk about the different types of trees. We have deciduous trees or evergreen trees. The deciduous trees lose their leaves in autumn, as you can see in this picture. The evergreen trees don't lose their leaves in autumn, as this one. Can you see the picture? Okay. Now we're going to talk about the uses of plants. We can use the plants for many different things. For example, for medicines. The aloe vera is good to make some creams. For example, to make some clothes. With the cotton, you can use the cotton to make types of clothes, like a t-shirt. And for food. We use the plants for food. We can eat the roots, the leaves, the, and the stem. For example, here we have a green bean plant. And you can eat the green beans. So that's all for now. See you soon.